in this playwright tutorial we are going to see default playwright folder structure so let's navigate to the vs code so this particular installation we have done in the previous playwright tutorial so let's look at the all the folders and at high level we will see what exactly it contains so firstly we have the node node underscore models so this particular folder it contains all the JS file that is a JavaScript file and also it contains all the plugins which are required to run the JavaScript code and as well as the playwright automation test coming to the second folder that is tests so if you look at the example dot spec dot JS file so it contains very basic two test cases so if you look at the sample test so here they are navigating to the URL and here they are validating something they have provided the that means Microsoft has provided the sample very basic to automation test that's it and if I come to the next folder that is the tests hyphen examples so if I open this demo hyphen to do hyphen app dot spec dot JS file so it contains multiple automation test cases so by using this also we can explore how to write the playwright automation tests so basically it is a kind of advanced advanced level playwright automation tests by referring these you can learn how to write the automation code at high level and coming to the next file that is the package.json file so in this file so it contains the all the dependency details if you look at in the line number 10 so far it has installed the two plugins one is playwright test and another one is types node and also you can see the respective version also if I install any plugin so automatically that will be added over here so basically at high level package.json file it contains the dependency details and the last file is playwright.config.json js file that is so if you look at this particular file so it contains the all the playwright configurations here you can specify where exactly your automation tests are present and whether you want to run the automation tests parallelly or not you can also specify how many times you want to retry when test is getting failed and also you can specify the whether you want to generate the report or not after the execution and also you can specify the all the different types of browsers also if you look at the all the this configuration so at high level if you think about the playwright.config file so it contains the all the configurations which are required to run the test basically for example you have an automation test you want to run it in the chrome browser so that configuration can be done here and also you want to run your test in the headless mode that configuration can be added or updated in the playwright.config.js file so this is all about the default playwright folder structure 